Namaste everybody, um, whoever is watching my channel, welcome. Today's video is, um, is my um, recent, I'm just trying to share my recent um, travel experience with Air India. <clears throat> I've always traveled most of the time with Air India, going to London, sorry, going to uh, India and coming back to London because somehow I wanted to support Air India. And obviously, India, the money goes to Indian government or whatever, wherever it goes in a India, basically supporting India by supporting a India. That's the whole. The idea was uh, it wasn't about getting the best service, really, because there are better airlines around. So whenever I travel to India, I travel by a India, and that's exactly the same thing happened this time as well on the the twenty second of November, twenty twenty one, about two weeks ago. I flew to. India from Heathrow Airport, London, no problem. At the airport in uh, London was not a problem. I checked in without any trouble. So landed in India the next, so the same day in the night. When I was coming back on the 5th of December, uh, that was my flight was a connecting flight um, from um, Delhi to Hyderabad. And then Hyderabad to London via A India again. That was the route, uh, and then I, so that was my flight. So I went to uh, the Delhi airport on time, about four hours before the 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 departure time, and then uh, I got myself checked in. Baggers were dropped, and then I was told that I would get my bags in London, but I wasn't given the boarding pass from. Um, Hyderabad to London. So he, the gentleman says you will get your boarding pass in Hyderabad. Uh, I wasn't asked for the uh, passenger locator form, which is uh, the requirement um, uh, to travel to UK. I wasn't very up to date with that one, so I take partial blame on that one, as uh, because I didn't have the the passenger locator form, but. If I was told there at the uh, Delhi airport, I would have done it right there. You know, I, I had plenty of time to do it. It just would take, you know, 15, 20 minutes and get it done. And I would have had no trouble. But there, they checked me in without asking passenger locator form. And then I boarded in uh, to the craft, come to Hyderabad. And before I was trying to fly in, trying to board in, I was asked the passenger locator form at the counter. And I said, I don't have one. So I said, you have to do it. So, okay, no problem, I'll do it. So, and then I told, because I have, um, uh, I, I can't see uh, properly if I don't have a glasses when I have to read or type something. So I told the, the people there, can you please help me? Because obviously I don't have the glasses at the moment, it's in the main luggage. Uh, so can you please help me typing, you know, writing information on the, because obviously I had to use my mobile phone, so obviously it was a mobile phone I couldn't see properly. So I, I told them, can you please help me? And they bluntly told that this is your problem. We are not able to help you. We can't help you. So you do it by yourself. And then they gave me five minute time frame. And obviously I couldn't have done it in five minutes. And basically they didn't want to wait for me. They didn't want to help me. Uh, and then I was told, okay, you're not doing, you, I've given you five minutes, you, you you didn't do it, so now you missed your flight now. So we were taking your uh, luggage out from, from the craft. I begged the people there, please do not do that, uh, because I'm in the middle of nowhere, Hyderabad I've never been uh, been to, and if I miss the flight from here, I don't know where I should be going, and then I really need to get home ASAP. And... Uh, <clears throat> And then uh, they didn't care, they didn't say, no, this is your problem. And I told them, this is your problem, because I should have been asked for this passenger locator form in Delhi. And because obviously, this is my connecting flight, so why didn't you ask me there? And they say, if it's, it's their, Delhi's people's fault, it's not our fault. But I told them, it still is Air India's fault. Um, but then they didn't really listen to me, I was completely ignored. Uh, I felt like... You know, those people have no heart. 
no empathy, no care for the, 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 the customers. I felt so betrayed by India and its crew. Um, and then I had no option but to run here and there, try to get another ticket. I went to a in the counter again. I told, I told them, okay, this is what happened. I missed my flight. Can you rebook for me? And then the gentleman there says, you have to pay 96,000 rupees. I said, listen, I mean, why would I pay 96,000 rupees? I mean, I missed the flight. It's your responsibility to rebook for me. I said, no, we're not doing anything. You buy or don't buy, it's up to you. But if you want to buy a ticket, 96,000. So then I, based on my experience, I decided not to go ahead with Air India flying again. I bought the ticket for British Air. I called my wife here and then she booked the ticket for me. I paid one lakh 10,000 rupees. Uh, and then obviously it cost me money. Uh, but I had no choice uh, uh, but to buy a ticket otherwise I was, if it was in Delhi, I had relatives there, my in-laws there. Uh, I would have gone back to their house and then I, I would have had enough time to rebook another ticket and possibly would have got cheaper one to come back. It still, there was, would have, there would be loss, but still, I could have saved a little bit of extra, a little bit of money there. But I had no option but to buy a ticket and come back to uh, London via British Air. And I really... I'm really pleased that you know British Air was so good. The 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 officers, uh, the customer service on the airport ground was they were so nice. They were so supportive, uh, very very professional, and and then the flight was immaculate. The nice plane, very clean, and I compared so many years I traveled with Air India. I'd never seen this clean plane before. A plane before it was so clean and then and it was very very comfortable journey to come back home to England so the reason I'm sharing my experience is you know um, just to help you make a decision if you ever plan to travel by India um, they you know, aircrafts are not new anyway, everybody knows about it and they are not well, I don't know how to say, um, it wasn't, I never had a pleasant, I, when I compared with British Air, uh, before I thought that's the way it is and, you know, I didn't really notice about it, but when I traveled to uh, British Air, then I compared, there is no comparison between British Air and Air India. Um, the the crew members to uh, the, the people at the ground at the airport they are so different uh, uncomparable it's not like 19 and 20 it's like really really big gap between British Air and its service and Air India it's just here and mostly Air India is a bit cheaper if I'm not wrong um, uh, but it's worth paying extra to British Air uh, because you know um, you don't want these things to happen, you know, uh, when you're traveling somewhere, and uh, you want safe, you will, you want to feel secure about uh, everything, and you don't want to be, f you know, don't want to feel ignored uh, and uh, uh, not treated properly. Um, so um, just think before flying with Air India, um, because it's not a good air airlines at all. Uh, no wonder why uh, Air India is on loss and it's just been taken over by Tata. Um, and I'm pretty sure uh, it's, it's not going to go any better with Tata as well because the people on the ground, they're still the same. They don't care. Um, you know, um, for them, it's like, you know, they have. If it was a private company, perhaps, you know, they would have had somebody. Uh, to watch on them uh, to make things better but here their job is secured so they don't care about the passenger because it's still their job is still there that's what i think um uh, so um if anybody from a india who is uh, i don't know if, if 
somebody's gonna watch my video uh, from the, the top people from a India if they do by chance all I want to say is I lost my money and the faith but you lost uh, not just me but uh, you know that one person can make so much a difference you know the the word mouth to mouth uh, information uh, can really affect uh, anything positively or negatively obviously I'm not gonna talk nice about a India now anymore based on my experience I would never recommend anybody to travel with a India so you are on more loose loss on than I am I might have lost my faith and my money which I earned really by working hard uh, you know uh, but you have lost the credibility uh, and uh, believe me, it wasn't just me there at the Hyderabad airport. There was other people. The local Hyderabadis were suffering as well. There was two people I still remember. Srikanth, he works or st studies in England. And there was another, um, Fani, Fani Kisor, his name is. He is IT a person. Just lives not far from my town in, in High Wycombe, London, so near London. He, he, so he was... He had to because he had the option to go back to his house, but I didn't have any option, so I had to come back because obviously I had to catch my work as well because I was on annual leave, so I had no option but to buy an expensive ticket to come back. So it wasn't just me. So please, 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 if you are traveling from a India, please think before you travel uh, with uh, this carrier because they are not good and you might face the same trouble what I've experienced uh, flying with them from my side love for India but no more uh, travel with a India ever and I would not recommend anybody to travel with a India please don't if you want to experience the shit the, the, the what I've experienced then please go ahead with it else don't do it if you are traveling uh, lucky I was not I, I didn't travel I wasn't traveling with my family my little kids if it was I, if I was traveling with my family it would have been even worse I'm planning to go back again in April to India I'd rather pay a couple of hundred pounds extra per ticket but I'll take British Air because I will be I will be valued based on my experience, last experience with British, and, uh, British Air. So, no to A India. Thank you and Jai Hind.